Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. As always, I'm Chris and today we've got from the Flying Dog Brewery. So yeah. This is a can of their Snake Dog IPA. Look at that design. That's absolutely stunning there, isn't it? A fantastic piece of artwork. Now this one, 7.1%, uh, picked this one up at Asda, it's one of the more expensive 330ml cans, um, I think it was around 250 maybe a little bit more for that one, comes in at 7.1%, so not a session IPA but hopefully it's a nice one. Let's get it out and into a glass and we'll see what we've got. Looks to be quite a clear bit. Good carbonation. Nothing really on the can there. But you do find that with a lot of the American breweries. They don't have an awful lot on the can. Got a little bit of info here. He slivers through the city in search of his face. No place too seedy, no place too fake. They're all on the menu tonight, and of course you'll find him irresistible, for it's the fault tongue she prefers. A uh, little bit of prose there. Uh, that's pretty much all you get. Nothing about the hops, nothing about the malt, nothing about the brewery. It's got the uh, standard, the American government warning there. You don't get the little symbols, but usual sort of thing, you know. If you're a car, don't get pregnant, etc. Right, let's have a look, shall we? So you've got a finger of nice clean white head there. Got a perfectly clear, gold coloured, highly carbonated beer. Uh, no haze on that, so, so more of a west coast, but I may be wrong. Let's have a look at the aroma, shall we? Very hoppy. Quite spicy. There's peppers in there. Yeah, definitely a spicy aroma. Not much in the fruit there. Certainly smells interesting. But it looks good. Very interesting aroma. Quite a nice dark gold. Not quite an amber. But with perfectly good clarity. Oh, let's have a look at the taste. Ooh, it's very spicy on the front end. Black pepper. Absolutely no floral and no fruity taste at all. Good malty mess. Biscuity. Almost like a you the, the malted milk biscuits, those ones with the, the cow on. Perfect with a coffee. That's the uh, level of biscuit that you're getting in this one. And despite being a higher ABV IPA, it's not too much bitterness. It's very rounded. It's very interesting. You can't actually taste that higher ABV. Uh, very drinkable. That's that could be a worry, couldn't it? Sink a few of these, and you'll soon know it. Which 
that pepperiness, it really opens up the sinuses as well. So as you take a swig, you get more of the aroma coming out. It's absolutely wonderful. It's quite a dry taste. So that leaves you wanting to go back in for the next mouthful. Mmm, that is, that's stunning. Such a nice beer. I'm pleasantly surprised by that one. I've never heard of the Flying Dog Brewery before. I've certainly never heard of their Snake Dog. This rather delicious IPA there. Get the last drop out. Very nice beer. Hmm. Keep going back to that can design. That's what um, I I think I may sound old here, but I'd say that's quite a funky can wrap. Hmm. I can't stop going in for more. That is. For a 7.1, that is too drinkable. It's so nice. Such a nice beer. Wow. I can highly recommend that. Would I drink that again? I think I definitely would. I have to limit myself to only picking up one or two cans at a time. Otherwise it would soon creep up on you. That drinkability, that is, well, ridiculous. It really is. Let's have a look at the lacing. It does leave fairly good lacing, especially for a, a 330 can beer. That's very nice. Well, not too bitter. Very drinkable. Very spicy. Peppery. Such an, a good quality drink, that one. Mm, there it is. So that's Snake Dog by the Flying Dog Brewery. See where we're, they're from, shall we? New York, California, and I'm not very good with my state abbreviations, but MD. Not quite sure where that is, but it looks like they brew out of a few different places, so as long as they can get the consistency from all their breweries. But a really nice beer. Not sure how I would classify that. Obviously it's not a New England IPA. I'd find it very hard to pop it in the West Coast bracket there with that heavily spiced pepperiness, but whatever you want to call it, it's a fine beer. Very nice. Cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down there. Do recommend me some other beers. And if they're half as good as this one, I will be thanking you. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And I'll see you all again next time. Happy drinking.